Let's talk about the most currently relevant of the Plutonian generations, Pluto and Leo. I'm going to speak quite frankly today, and there's a big possibility that someone may become offended. It's not my intention to offend anyone, and this is not a judgment on any individual person in this generation as much as it is an overall look at the impact that this generation had on humanity as a whole. So I hope this will not offend, but if it does, you can relax. That is an indication that this theory is indeed accurate. For those of you who have not seen the Pluto and Generations video, I recommend you go back and watch that. And in that video, we discussed how the planet Pluto moves around the sun, transforming everything in its path. It's the energy of upheaval, transformation, death, rebirth, and change. It talks about what's hidden, corruption, leadership, and persistence. At a relatively slow speed, Pluto moves through the houses, marking challenges and purposes of the collective human race, as well as impacting us personally. Studying the past cycles of Pluto, it seems as if movement through the zodiac signs causes an overexpression of issues that come to light through the houses. These things become emphasized so that they can be transformed for the betterment of humanity. Leo generation was from 1937 to 1956. These are people currently aged 66 to 85. People born at the introduction of Pluto and Leo may have had parents that experienced war and depression. Some of them were children during the Second World War. They knew what it meant to survive on very little. Their Pluto and Cancer parents were hyper-focused on keeping the family unit and community connection strong by working hard and being diligent. And this was impressed heavily on the Pluto and Leo generation. They became very creative and powerful as they were ruled by the sun. Pluto and Leo have a strong drive that has empowered this generation to reach amazing new heights in their career sector of life. They would surpass their parents' achievements by thriving as adults. They were creative, career-minded, and driven by self-purpose. They built amazing and powerful empires, comfortable and safe lives, they were at ease in creating power, comfort, and luxury for themselves. This generation was the first to experience marketing and sales on a corporate level. Marketing became a way of pushing new ideas and concepts that this generation would come to blindly embrace as their ideologies. The advertisements of the time pushed for the idea of the perfect life. A perfect smiling wife, two happy kids, and a dog for every man, and a strapping man to provide for every woman. If they only knew what a predicament this dream would be in reality. This generation seems to have misplaced their judgment with regards to their love life as the divorce rate skyrocketed from the 1960s to the 1980s, a time when Pluto and Leo's children were growing up and leaving home. This generation felt a sense of freedom as empty nesters, and it empowered them to focus on their lives. The term midlife crisis became popular in the 80s to explain the change in directive many in this generation experienced. Socially speaking, this generation was a little awkward. This isn't without reason. This generation was also the first to experience a truly mixed culture. The black population was breaking the bounds of previous generations in society, and people of many other races had parents that immigrated to this country that were also fighting for social acceptance. Everyone was raised with prejudice during that time. It didn't matter your race, white, black, Italian, Irish, Chinese, Jewish, everyone carried fear and prejudice towards one another as they still carried things that were taught at such a young age that were no longer relevant in society. They had a lot of issues to work out, and these changes came about so fast that this generation had no choice but to embrace the changes. The fundamentals of social change started with this generation. They made changes, created organizations, associations, and powerful structures within government. They learned how to garner power and privilege through their careers. They took the reins and never let go. 
I mean that literally. They never let go. They thought no one could do it better. A fault of this placement is that they have difficulty being objective. In fact, they were very subjective. They couldn't accept that there was any other way, and severe punishment was always an option for any opposition. The numbers of people in this generation involved in our government today is staggering. They won't let go either. They refuse to allow the new generations to take the reins. They want the power and they'll use antiquated ideas to get it. Since I'm speaking truth, they're also the ones responsible for the pandemic that weakened us as a collective. At a certain point, this generation should be providing support and counsel and not having the power to decide the direction of our future generation's lives. As their power slips away, they fight even more ruthlessly to inject our lives with outdated ideologies. May they be race, sexual preference, success in career, love, or anything really. They have an ideology they'll eagerly place on it. And that has to end with our future generations. These future generations hold the key. Pluto and Leo has had the key so long they have literally stolen opportunities from their children, the Pluto and Virgo and Libra generations. The good news is they might let it go to the hands of their grandchildren, Pluto and Scorpio and Pluto and Sagittarius. These generations will bring about the connection we've been starved of in society for far too long. And This is from the 1960s to current, so it's been a big block of time. Pluto and Leo ideologies in general keep us divided, distracted, and dissatisfied. They have used divisive concepts and ideas to control us. They were incredibly short-sighted with regards to the differences that our newer generations have already come to embrace. We don't need the oversized governance and authority they've developed to supply their power over us as a human race, and we don't need them in power positions any longer. They've lived longer lives than previous generations and taken more than their turn should have allowed for. The lesson for this generation is to surrender power with trust in our new generations and to pass along their relevant wisdom, objectively. So, to soften the blow, this generation has seen a lot of major changes in society, changes that were necessary for our growth as a human race. They had good and bad, like all generations have and will have in the future. We thank them for their contribution and ask that they bless us with their wisdom and kindly pass the torch. Others are waiting for a turn. Wait until you see how their children do in the next video, Pluto in Virgo. Be sure to hit the red subscribe button at the bottom of the screen and click the bell next to that for all notifications so that you can receive alerts when I release new videos. Thank you all for watching and for your support.